Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In the previous videos I showed you how you can use a um, USB over IP service to basically uh, send the USB devices and their data to other computer across the world. And um, I was doing a demo for Logitech steering wheel and control the game Forza Horizon 3 and then Doom um, game and proper mouse inputs because if you watch my previous videos and if you done, try to do a bit of gaming on Android with the action shooting games you know that the mouse don't want to move properly so while these videos are actually like working fine and not a problem I was wondering what if um, you take a USB key which in my case I have a SanDisk uh, 8 gigabytes 2.0 USB and I have a PSP game, ISO or ROM, whatever you call it, uh, loaded on this USB. So what if you have your games on USB device and you send the data from your USB device to your Shadow Cloud gaming service or Shadow Cloud computer. So what we're going to try now is basically this is uh, inside there, like I said, there is a PSP, Sony PlayStation Portable a game God of War and we're gonna see how it performs when actual ISO file or um, what's this called um, game ROM is inside your cloud computer or when you streaming your USB device across the internet so first thing what I need to do is run virtual here um, program so as you can see it's detecting some of my devices already I'm just gonna accept now I'm gonna take this and gonna plug that in. Plug that in and uh, let's see if it's gonna detect. I might already set this up, I can't remember. So if it's not detecting anything, oh no, it's detecting. So right, it tells me what speed this device is, 12 or 180. To be honest, I don't really know what the speed is. I'm just gonna choose the bigger number. Just see how it goes, that's it. So virtual here, USB server right now got the data of this USB and is sending across to the USB virtual here, USB client. Now I'm going to jump into my cloud computer and let's find out if it's running. Yes, so as you can see it's automatically connected. The way to connect, I already showed you previous videos, is very simple. Just follow my instructions and it's going to work. And as you can see I have a... Uh, keyboard which is connected to deck station a mouse which I'm using right now and one of them it says cruise blade that's my 8 gigabytes USB stick so what I'll do now I'll just gonna double click and it says it's in use so any, any second should a message pop up that my USB key has got errors and stuff I don't know why no nothing pops up that's fine let's go to PC and this is my device this is my device, as you can see, there's a problem, so I don't know why, basically, Android just decided to create some folders because it connected to a deck station, but anyway, this is the ISO file of the God of War, Chain of Olympus, and I have the same ISO file inside downloads, as you can see here, there, so D drive, I have the same file, and E drive, which is the USB key, which is being streamed across internet, it's a bit confusing, but stick with me. So what I'll do now, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to launch PPSSPP emulator. So let's open PPSSPP emulator, go full screen. And as you can see, I have two games here. I don't know which one is which, so we're going to start from beginning. So I'll have, uh, I got my Xbox One controller ready. So let's go to games, uh, go back. So E is the USB key and D is is the local storage on the shadow cloud computer so i'm going to download it's got a war let's play right now the local file let's quickly skip through all this um come on come on so i'm using r2 just to fast forward so here we are we are in a battle so let's see how it performs when actual file is on the device or on the shadow so Okay, come here. Not a problem. 
well, it's playable. A, a little tweaking needed for the the rendering and etc. But besides that, everything works, not a problem. And fast forwarding works as you should. Sound a bit glitchy, but that's not a big problem to me. So let's grab. Let's stab him. Come on, come here. Stab. Anyway, as you can see, it runs perfect. Not a problem. So what I'll do now, click Escape. And exit to menu. So right now I go to Games. And instead of in the D, which is a local folder, or you call it local drive, D downloads, and the local, what I mean is on the Shadow Cloud computer, I go to my uh, E, which is USB disk, a USB drive that is connected currently to my desk station. So let's try to run that one and see how it goes. Will gonna be enough my internet power, internet bandwidth, and etc. just to run this game off my USB. And as you can see, the loading screen is not the fastest, so uh, it's not a good start. Loading very, very slowly. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you can hear, but basically loading a sound is very glitchy. Let me try somehow to increase a bit of the sound of my recording software. So right now, if you remember, uh, the, the cutscene went fast when I was fast forwarding. The cutscene works fine and it plays perfectly, but when you try and fast forward, it's glitchy. So let's wait, let's wait for cutscene. And to be honest, the sound is very glitchy. Game is stuck? Oh no, not stuck. So it's, it's, it's loading up. I think what it's doing is reading the file. Here we are. So we're back in action and right now this game is running or the emulator is my on shadow cloud computer but my USB key is actually connected to my deck station. So let's see how it's gonna perform right now. sound a more well sound stutters more than was on the while I was loading off a local but the the game the game the gaming is not bad the game gaming not bad at all like I said and again might be able you might be able to run this game off your USB key via virtual here service just needs a, a little tweaking like you know fine tuning and finding that perfect spot that 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 perfect gold perfect spot to for graphics and rendering and etc not bad so right now what I'll do I'll exit the game Exit the game, uh, close the emulator. Let's find my virtual here program. Show, uh, stop using this device. Is it? So it disconnects, co disconnects the connection between the Shadow Cloud computer and my deck station. So if I go to my deck station and I go to the files, and I think the program I'm using is called CX for my files and USB storage yes open up and this is the game God of War this is the game was running off uh, my USB key and as you see uh, works it's playable but you will notice the, 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 the graphic difference of the running speed and quality difference straight away.
but let's say if you uh, you have your um, all games retro games ROMs on your USB key and you just can't be bothered transferring them to your cloud storage or your cloud computer shadow cloud computer you can use this way virtual here server and a client and it connects it works perfectly well I mean perfectly it works up to a certain level <laughs> okay thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in an hour one bye bye